welcome to my channel. So today I am super excited to be diving into the Lush Kitchen subscription for March of 2023. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Lush Kitchen subscription, it has nothing to do with the kitchen, food, anything related like that. This is actually a bath and body subscription put out by Lush, who's well known for the bath bombs and bubble bars and anything body related. And they have a monthly subscription where you get four to five limited edition vegan bath, shower, and skincare products inside. The kitchen part comes from the fact that they have their like Lush kitchen where they design and make all these products. So these are gonna be like limited edition ones that you can't get in store or anywhere else. Some of them are are like, um, I don't want vintage products, old school products that they've brought back or scents that they've brought back. S sometimes they bring them back in a new form or it's a new scent that they've never tried. So you get lots of cool exclusive things in this box. Now you can get this in the UK, Canada, and the US. In the US, it is $49.95 a month plus $6 shipping. It is somewhat of a pricey bath box, but you get really high quality bath products inside. And as you know, Lush in general is not cheap and you're getting exclusive limited edition products in the box. There is then also monthly voting. So community picks go into the box. So each month you get to vote for community picks, which is not a choice selection. So you can't, you can't just like pick that and it comes in your box, but as a community, the whole community votes and based on how the community votes, there may be some community picks included in the box. I will just say this box, it smells so good. This is maybe one of the better smelling Lush boxes that we've ever gotten. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel, we unbox lots of different subscription boxes, including lots of bath boxes, which are one of my personal favorites. So if you like videos like this, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today. Like I said, this box smells incredible and I can't wait to get inside. So up front, it does have a sticker on it. Each month, the sticker looks a little bit different depending on the theme and each month is themed. And I just love the neon color of this box. So that's what it looks like. All right, so this is issue number 34 for March of 2023. Feel Good Florals is the theme. I also love that the back of the card is a super pretty art print. So afterwards you could frame this or put this up on a pit pegboard or something like that because it's just a really, really a beautiful piece of art. It says blossom in mother nature's sweet embrace with the uplifting citrus and delicate floral essential oils. Oh, it smells so, so good. So there is a QR code in English and in French because this does get shipped from Canada if you're in the US and obviously in Canada, they speak a lot of French uh, in certain areas, but I'm gonna scan the English one to pull up the pamphlet. There is then also a little receipt that comes with everything listed inside with all the products, kind of like if you made a regular Lush order, but I don't wanna peek because I want to be surprised. Surprised. Ooh, the very first thing that I'm pulling out is this here. Now, the one thing that I've always critiqued this box on is they don't wrap all of the products. And I wish that even if they wanted to be eco-friendly, because like their little things can go down, they're just starch, so it can just be washed down the drain. I wish that they would at least put like a paper bag around it or whatever, though this one does not look damaged. It smells really, really good. And it's so, so pretty. So what is this? This is the flower tub, a kitchen exclusive bubble bar. Um, it says, create your own bubbly oasis with this fresh garden scented bar filled with floral violet, woodsy cypress, and uplifting orange flower aromas. This is a kitchen exclusive. It smells like green garden, but also like zingy as well. And normally I'm not somebody who likes garden or like natural floral scents, but I actually really like this and I really can't wait to use it. It's definitely a little dinged up. Like it doesn't look cute from that side. It doesn't even really look cute from the front side because of how it was dinged up in transit or just whatever, I'm not really sure, but it smells really nice. Um, the only thing is when I use this bubble bar, cause I do usually chop mine up before I put them in the bath, you are gonna have those little florals. So you probably wanna put this one through a sieve or something like that, um, which is what I normally do anyway, just so that you don't have all that going down your drain. I don't know if it's just on the top or if there's anything embedded in it, Oh, but it smells really, really nice and just feels so fresh and spring. All right, up next we have this here. This is a ring of roses. This is a kitchen exclusive buttercream. So it says, enjoy this ultra nourishing in shower cleanser made with softening cocoa butter as well as floral notes of larkspur and honeysuckle. So I guess this is used like a body wash. Ooh. It kind of smells like Indian food? 
like rice, like an aromatic rice. Interesting. It's like lemony aromatic rice, which I guess is floral. I will say the picture of the bar on the thing has a lot more flowers. Like mine doesn't really have that many flowers, which is fine. They're probably somewhere in this box. Just be yeah, I'm seeing flowers like in this box because things weren't wrapped. Now that could have been from this too, to be fair. Um, it's a very savory scent. It's not very sweet. I don't mind it. I've never used a butter body buttercream before, so I'm actually excited to try it out. I don't know if I love the scent. That's my only thing. Like it's, it's something that I would want to eat, but not something I would want to bathe in. So interesting. This was a community pick. This is, I did not choose this. I know that I did not choose this when I went through. <laughs> oh, I am so excited for this next one. This is a whole lot of roses and this is a kitchen exclusive fun. So it says mold a bouquet of flowers with this rose jam scented fun, and then use your one of a kind creation to create a bath full of bubbles while you wash both hair and body. <gasps> so I think that these, from what I understand from the fun things are basically like bubble bar type stuff, but just in the form that you can like mold and play with. Which if you have children, oh, this smells so good. Now, normally I don't like the scent of rose, but you get that like jammy, almost raspberry scent with a hint of rose. Oh, I love the scent. And I love that this is like fun and you can like mold it into something. I will say that I have like none of the green and a lot of the darker purple. And I don't know if that's intentional or not. Like in the picture, it's more evenly distributed, but I assume you just kind of put this in the bath. It says to create a bath full of bubbles while you wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can wash yourself with this stuff, but I think it says, oh, how to use. <laughs> that would be helpful. Um, wash your body and hair by lathering up with a small piece for a bubbly bath, crumble a small portion under running water. So you can clean yourself with this or you can use it as a bubble bar or both. This smells really good. And I'm so excited to like make a rose out of it. And if you have kids, like they would, this is like such a fun thing that you can like play with it and then use it. So very excited. Up next, we have this. This is the B Electro Kitchen Exclusive Shower Gel. It says wash yourself awake with zingy sweet grapefruit that adds brightness to a hand, excuse me, heady rose petal infusion and an exotic jasmine scent. Now this is a 3.3 fluid ounce. I wish that they would include a bigger size, but it's okay. We did get a full size body wash last month. I wish that we would not get a shower gel every month. Um, and if we are, just give us the full size and not a sample size, but I feel like we always get a shower gel. So just FYI if you're gonna get this box. Ooh, that's fun, that is zingy. It's a zingy sweet, but almost savory scent again. I really like that. And it's a really fun color for the shower. And green for March is just perfect. So I'm definitely not mad about this. This is not a cheap box. And so I just feel like this should have been a bigger size. It doesn't even have to be the full, full size, but I do feel like bigger than this would feel better in a box at this price. And I will say that on this, there's a little bit of that bubble, the bar, this bar is like melted onto it a little bit. And then the next product that I'm about to pull out definitely has the bubble bar on it. So I just, again, I wish that they would do a better job packaging. I know that they like to be eco-conscious and all that kind of stuff, but they could still do that. And at a box priced at this price point, I expect a little bit better with the packaging. So finally is the Mamma Mia Kitchen Exclusive Shower Scrub. This again was also a community pick, um, as well as the B Electro. This was a community pick as well. Um, so it says, here we glow again with a rich and creamy scrub that brightens with pink grapefruit, cleanses with rose clay and exfoliates with mineral rich sea salt. Ooh, okay. So this is gonna be, I think, pink. Ooh, that is a fun color. Ooh, I really like the scent of that. It's very sweet. Oh, that's what it looks like. It's a little like runny, so I don't wanna like pour this all over my table because I definitely wanna use this. Oh, and let me not eat it either. Um, This smells really good. It's very sweet. It almost smells a little bit like ice cream. Oh, very, very little bit. I don't know where I'm getting that from, but I really like the way that this is used. So this is just a body scrub. I mean, you just scrub it all over to cleanse and buff your body in the shower, then rinse. Oh, I'm very excited about this. Um, this is 4.5 ounces. I feel like they have bigger sizes of this, but I think that this is an okay size for the box. I just, my only criticism of this box is I wish that the shower gel was bigger and I wish we were not getting a shower gel every month, like switch it out with a lotion or, you know, do like shower gel lotion, shower gel lotion. But 
Um, those are all the products in the Lush Kitchen subscription for March. I will say that it smells really good in here right now, and there's a lot of things that I'm really excited about. I think the only thing that I don't know if I'll use is this because it's not a type of go-to product that I would use, and the scent is very lemony, but like I said, it's like a, a, a like a, I'm like getting like basmati rice with lemon and like seasonings in it, um, which is not a bad thing. I just, again, I don't know if I want my body to smell like that, but like probably most excited about this. It smells so good. It's going to be so fun. I think the bubble bar is fun as well. Everything in here is really fun. I love how themed it is each month. Like you get the floral, you get the bright colors, the greens and the florals and the pinks. So a huge fan of that. But definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the Lush Kitchen subscription for March of 2023? Again, I know this is one of the pricier boxes that I unboxed, particularly for a bath box. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.